We want to welcome our brother Shakur Mustafa, the police officer, our glove. We love him for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all of you, of course, he came to you here, mashallah, to give you the lecture and answer whatever you have in question, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept uh, from him all this effort to come to get benefit from him, inshallah ta'ala. And he loved our community, he loved our schools, our students, our staff. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again accept from him. And please, you know the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be one unit. To be, come together. So maybe the people like three, four people come here, please. You know how the Sahaba said to the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you get one piece, a cloth, it can cover all of them. It means be closer as much as you can. Be. So we need maybe Zishan, Tahmeet, Abrahman, come here, please. We need also Mu'min, Ibrahim, as much as Ibrahim's life. Exactly what I mean. Shukran. But what is more important 
is what is in front of us. And I'm talking about all of us. Please, if you're talking, stop talking. There are certain times that are more important than other times. How do we know that? We know that from the Quran. Allah talks about of all of the prayers in the Quran. He prays one prayer. Does anybody know what prayer it is? Yes. Hmm? Fetch. Yes. Mom. Yes. Isha. Isha. Yes. Awesome. No. No. Well, I think we named all five of them, right? Yes. So, no, I'm not talking about the Quran about Tahajju. The Amulay. This prayer, he prays it. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prays something, we should look at it as being very, very, very important. A lot of you, it may be difficult for you to pray this prayer because you're young. You're young, you stay up late. You do your homework late. You get your clothes ready for tomorrow late. So it may be difficult for you. But if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prays it, it's important. You know, I asked a guy the other day, I said, name me five things. Five things that either Allah mentioned in the Quran or the Prophet. Praised in the sunnah. Namely, five things that he praised. Why? If you had AIDS today, if they told you, oh, you came down with AIDS, those things would be important. It would be more important than other things. Hmm? Listen, my story is important. But don't forget what I said. What's more important is the future. That's why I'm so happy to come here today to talk to my future. And I hope that you get an opportunity like that, to talk to the future. That's important. I want to tell you about my story. 26 years as a police officer. The first thing, who was the person that asked Shekhar Man? If I stop, it's because somebody is talking. That's not part of our religion. We have to have adept. We have to have manners. We have to be the best people. Because why? Allah praised the Sahabas in the Quran. He prays them. Hmm? We have to have manners. They were the best people. Allah mentioned the Quran. They were the best people. So I don't want to see anybody in here talking. If I'm boring, just put up with me until I finish. Because if you do, you gain a favor from Allah. What was that? I was talking about my career. Who was the person, I asked that question, who was the person that asked Sheikh Ahmed whether or not he could be a police officer? Who was that brother? Anybody know? He's not here. Huh? He's here. Where is he? Listen, that's a very important question. Well, guess what? That was the same question that I asked Sheikh Al-Fayyimi, Ibrahim Allah. I went to Mecca for Umrah, and we went, maybe a group of brothers, I met them there, maybe about five or seven brothers, and this is where my story begins. We went to Sheikh Al-Fayyimi, Ibrahim Allah, may Allah have mercy upon him. He was a great, great, great scholar. We went to the gate where his office was at and we knocked on the door and one of the students came to the door. He 
said, no. Nah. One of the brothers said, tell Sheikh Al-Fayyuni that the Americans are here. There was a long line of people waiting to see Sheikh Al-Fayyuni. And I mean, I never saw so many people. I'm talking about people from everywhere. I saw some of the scholars from Afghanistan. Some of the scholars that were coming to ask Sheikh Al-Fayyuni about whether or not they should go after Osama bin Laden for the Americans. I saw them. I'm talking about big scholars with knowledge. They was all waiting in the line to see Sheikh Al-Fahmi. The brother walked up and said, tell Sheikh Al-Fahmi that the Americans are here. There was some Arabs sitting on the side. The student who came to the gate, he said, do you have an appointment with Sheikh Al-Fahmi? He said, no, just tell him that the Americans are here. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Because all those people were waiting before us. Hmm? How many people know the hadith that the Prophet said, Le yu'minu ahadukum hatta yuhibba akhihi wa yuhibbu li nafsi. How many people know this hadith? This is an important hadith. It's very important. And I felt like that while I was standing there. I'm saying, why would this guy knock on the door and say to Sheikh Al-Fahmi, tell Sheikh Al-Fahmi that the Americans are here? Well, what's so important about that? The brother knew something that I didn't know. Plus, he was the Amir of our group. So I didn't say nothing. Because I know that Allah likes us to practice the Sunnah. We have an Amir. So don't, don't go against the Amir. Tell the Amir later what you did like. So he said, do you have an appointment? He said, no. Just tell the Sheikh that the Americans are here. He went back to Sheikh Al-Fahmin's office. And the student came back and said, the Sheikh said, just one minute. I was surprised. Wow. Listen, let me stop my story and tell you all something that's very important. Allah mentions in the Quran that the Quran contains the best stories. How many people can tell the story good at the end? Okay. Listen, all of you learn how to tell the story good. Because if Allah tell stories in the Quran, and he does. He said these are the best stories. Learn how to be a good storyteller. So back to my story. So, there was some Arabs waiting, and they came over to us and they said, listen, we've been waiting for a long time. Can we go in and see the shape with you? The brother said, no. And I sat and I looked at him, and he wasn't real. 
Mm. You know what I mean? It was real, 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 real sharp. I said, wow. The shape don't put a whole lot of emphasis in it. Looking real, real, real nice. I looked down at the bottom of his soul. The bottom of his soul was a little bit dirty down the bottom. I said, wow. Okay. Let me be patient. See what I can learn. So all of them. The room was bigger than this room. And he had a lot of people sitting on couches, sitting on chairs, and everything, waiting to talk to the shape. The shape put us in front of everybody. You should ask yourself the same question that I asked myself. Why did the shape put us in front of everybody? Why? Let me ask you a question, and I want to see you raise your hand. Do you know what country is the superpower country in the world? Germany. America. America is the superpower country in the world. And when I saw the shape put us in front of everybody, because we were Americans, but because we had an opportunity to do something that the rest of the world can't do. What can we do? We can make Islam first. Listen, you are tomorrow's leaders. You are tomorrow's teachers. I don't care where you're from. I don't care if you're from Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Iraq. Listen. It's important for you to bring Islam first. Bring Islam first. So back to my story. So we were sitting around and they called the event for Asa. So the Sheikh said, stay. You don't have to leave. We'll pray here. So I'm saying, wow, we get to pray with the Sheikh. Listen, if you ever get the opportunity that I have had. Look at the person who's in front of you. Look at everything about him. Everything. Everything you can think of. Look at that. Hmm? Because it tells you a whole lot about him, who he is. So we were standing in the line, a straight line, because the sheikh wasn't the leader of the prayer. But he was in the vicinity that he could hear the reciting, reciting the Quran. So we all stood with him and we prayed. Look what I was doing. I was looking out the corner of my eye at the shape to see how he held his hands. Hmm? When we made Ruku, I looked to see how the shape's battle was. Why? Because the prophet says, so all by himself, that the scholars are the inheritors of the prophet, right? I want to know everything about this scholar. So when we finished the salah, there was a janazah prayer. So he told everybody, don't go. We pray the janazah prayer with the shape. I'm looking at him out the corner of my eye and everything about the shape. Okay, was I doing the best thing? No. Because the prophet says, so Allah by himself, if you let your eyes move beyond the spot that you're going to prostrate on, she comes and steal from the prayer. Okay. Sometimes we don't always do the best thing. Like some people in here, they laugh and write down and they play with other people. It's not the best thing that we should be doing. But we don't want to tell him nobody because look what Adam said. He said all the time, Allah, he spent with the Prophet. So Allah so if the Prophet told Adam to go to the store and go get something, Adam was a boy. He would get playing with other kids. And the Prophet would walk by, say, Adam, so I want to go. He wouldn't embarrass him in front of people. Didn't I tell you to go to the store? What are you doing? He didn't do that. Back in my story. 
So we finished praying the Janazah prayer with the shaykh. And then he said, we can eat with him. I was like, wow. We get to eat with Sheikh al We don't have a whole lot. So we sat down and ate with him. And listen, everybody that can speak Arabic, don't laugh at him. I said, Sheikh, I'm not an American Muslim. Have a boy in your jewels, leave Dalvin, a shorty, fit better than an American. Sheikh sat back and he said, Does everybody understand what I said? Be a police officer 
in the land of the disbelievers. When I got back home, I started to think to myself, wow, why he didn't say Allah said, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I know we know the ayah in the Quran that Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, la tuqaddimu bayna yadayki dhati wa rasulim. You know this ayah, hmm? Because his working knowledge, he has a working knowledge, he's the shaykh. Oppression, oppressing people. Allah said in another ayah in the Quran that it's worse than killing To oppress people, to make things difficult for people. You remember when the Prophet Sallallahu said to Ali bin Jabal to Yemen? The last thing he told him was, oh, I don't make matters difficult for people. Don't make matters difficult for them. Like, I'm not going to keep stopping because people keep talking. I'm not going to point out who's talking, who's not paying attention. I don't want to do that. He said, don't make matters difficult for people. And I thought about that. That's why Sheikh's opinion was different than Sheikh the Bad's. Why? Because the police officer, he has discretion. If he wants to write a ticket, he can write a ticket. If he wants to lock this guy up here that he found drinking alcohol, he can. He'll have to. But he must hold sacred what is sacred. Look at this. You know that murder is one of the seven major sins. Murder is also important in policing. Police officer doesn't get discretion. Somebody kills somebody, he got to lock them up. And he may have to kill them. Well, what about that? It's not that. No, it's not really. Saving life is sacred. It's sacred. There was a shake here, I think it was a month ago, Sheikh Salman. Uh, huh? Sheikh Muhammad. Listen, I came here to listen to that shake talk. And I left here really feeling like I was a giant. Because the knowledge that the Sheikh came with was so, 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 so important. And if you didn't hear him, you should get an opportunity to try to see if Sheikh Sami can get you the CD from that and take it home. He talked about the 10 things that nullifies, that takes a Muslim out of his mind. Very, very important. And I hope that I can get a copy of that CD, Sheikh Sami, inshallah. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Back to my story. So I came back to America and I felt really great now. I don't know if you've ever read about me in the papers, but I was in the papers. Anybody ever read about me? No. Very good. Very good. Listen, I want you, when I leave here, I want you to Google my name. My name is what? Shakur Mustafa. I want you to Google it and see what comes up. I said the past is important. The past is important, but more important is the future. Hmm? So I came back and I felt great. A guy came to me and he said, listen, he said, would you like to be the man's bodyguard. I said, you kidding? He said, no. I said, yeah, I would like to be the man's bodyguard. He said, OK, we're going to get you an interview. And I didn't believe him because so many people asked me, would you like to go to Amasar? Would you like to go to Lakaris? Would you like to go to the DEA? Would you like to ride a motorcycle? <laughs> So 
So he said to me, would you like to know the big man's bodyguard? 